Hello everybody, this is Zerta with Zerta MTG, and today I'm bringing you more historic content. So, what I have for you here today is a slight modification of uh, my Big Flash or Demir Flash deck. Uh, what I've changed, and I've dropped two ops and the Shark Typhoon for another copy of Syncopate. Finally, the fourth Slitherwisp, and the 22nd land in a second Temple of Deceit. Um, figured if I was going to uh, drop the Shark Typhoon, I wanted more card advantage, and if I wanted more card advantage, uh, or, and if I wanted uh, more card advantage, I would be Slitherwisp, and if I wanted that, I needed to finally up that uh, blue-black count and the land count. I also really wanted more um, interaction uh, counterspell-wise. I know it's uh, not exactly the best against a fairy, by which I mean completely useless against a fairy, unless it's uh, drawn before him. But I figure having, uh, what is this, eight ways to interact with the Teferi is probably enough um, to make sure he doesn't come down. We have more counters for Teferi than our opponent has Teferis, so there's open. Um, also, maxing out on Slitherwisp probably is very powerful. I was, uh, and still am, just concerned about the mana for that uh, double black in a deck that would much rather cast a double blue spell is a little iffy. Um, that said, I think that the uh, new mana base can handle it. Um, and if not, it'll just be like before. And not too much of a problem. Anyway, uh, as for the sideboard, I haven't changed too much here. Uh, actually, I haven't changed anything. It's four disfigure, two scrabbling claws, one Aether Gust, one Negate, one extra Heartless Act, which actually... Now, for Mono Red, I was going to say should change into a... Uh, no, I'd rather have Aether Gust there, too. Yeah, I think now I'd just rather have the second Aether Gust. Negate, Mystical Dispute, Shark Typhoon, Entrancing Melody. Um, the Entrancing Melody is uh, for those more mid rangey matchups where we could just kind of take one of their big threats and uh, turn it against them. I think it's pretty powerful. Um, and because of that, we're playing one copy. I also think it's kind of slow, thus we, uh, you know, aren't playing anymore. Shark Typhoons for Teferi matchups. Um, that's another reason I felt safer removing the uh, Shark Typhoon is we are playing an extra Syncopate now. We're playing more lands, and Slitherwisp can help us ignore Teferi. Anyway. That's it for the deck. Let's jump right on into the games. We'll play more Bank Nexus tomorrow, don't you worry. Or maybe not tomorrow, but we will play it before too long. Alright, and let's see what kind of a hand we are blessed with. Now that I've said that, it'll be cursed. Uh-oh. Alright, good. Arena only uh, flirted with the concept of crashing there. Oh, on the play. Nice. Alright. Yeah, this is a keeper if I ever saw one. It isn't great, but uh, it is about what we're expecting when we you know, choose to play this deck. And then turn. Not going to deploy there. I'd rather wait and see exactly what's going on. The Murpho Trickster might just be more useful. I am just uh, slightly weary of what they're doing here. Alright, that we will syncopate so that we don't have to worry about it later. And drop our spectral sealer. 
Excellent. Now, if they don't do anything, we get to start drawing cards. Well, that's not something we care about, so... I think I'd also rather draw a card than uh, deploy any of these threats. They're not the best. Alright. Play another swamp, I suppose. Hit for one. And let's gear up for the long game. Our opponent may have Uro, but we have plenty of ways to deal with it. Ah. Alright. Wilderness Wreck. Alright. Can we stop it? We will certainly try. And we'll deploy our trickster here. All right, so our opponent is on uh, Nexus, which I was suspecting, but kind of hoping they weren't. End our turn. We'll draw a card during their instep, or if they go to. Uh, Field us. All right. Not to worry. Stop in there. No, no, not in. All right. Well, looks like we're doing it now. Turn the wilderness rock. And, hmm, yeah, I think we're going to deploy the Brazen Bar instead of drawing a card. Get a decent amount of damage. And if they do anything, draw a card. Nothing to do about it, so it resolves. Alright, our opponent's almost assuredly about to start chaining a few turns together. But as there's nothing we can do about that, we'll have to let it slide and deploy our threats. Alright. Alright, boss of convention. We're going to use this little point anyway. That is fine. Hmm. Just in turn then. Alright, as expected. They'll blow up the twos, we can redeploy a two later. Tamio. Okay.
Okay. <coughs> Let's see. Excellent. Go ahead and return the reclamation. Hopefully they don't drop a today. So be it. No need. We wouldn't negate it here anyway. And their upkeep. Oh, yes, non legendary. Hmm. Gonna use this at some point anyway, then. Might as well be now. <laughs> they go to enter combat. I'll make the sad choice of deploying the trickster and allowing myself to be opened up to that blast zone. But I'm not letting them draw with that arrow, that's for sure. I cannot stop it. <clears throat> Alright, right, they found their first nexus. Thus, things have reached this part of the game where I'm likely to not really do anything anymore. Once they hit less than 30 cards in library, is uh, when I'm going to opt to concede, I suppose. I'll wait a little longer than that. Double is 8, 12 cards, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cards deep. A turn plus the, yeah, plus they have a turn stacked anyway. That's more than enough. I'm never getting another turn. They get to look 12 cards deep there. Their deck decreases by 4, and they get to dig that deep with an extra turn floating. So, that disputes, negate. Um, not bringing in Scrabbling Claws, is that a good idea or a bad idea? Moving Cast Down, because uh, their only creature that I'm aware of is Uro. I suppose they could have Krasis after, but I have Tyrant Scorn still for that. Debating on Aether Gust just because of its ability to answer a uh, Wilderness Wreck. It also hits Tamiyo and Uro. Alright, I talked myself into it. And I don't need Heartless Act. I think my worst card left is actually Tyrant Scorn. Alright. Can I drop the last one? Hmm. I think I keep one to go with my Brazen Borrowers as removal for uh, any Uro that actually manages to hit play. Alright, let us see how we do. This is uh, not a matchup I have much practice against. I like to play with Nexus decks quite a bit, but I uh, haven't played against them that often. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do from my side of the board here. Thank you. 
Alright. So we will definitely still take the play. Um, we're not keeping that one. Right, we'll keep. We'll uh, bin one of our tricksters. Feel like this is going to be a very Brineborn heavy draw. This isn't great, but can't really uh, do much about that. I guess we could have bluffed having an interaction if we decided to red. I'm going to go ahead and just deploy Brineborn here so that I can play around Mystical Dispute. I'm not going to syncopate one of their two drops. I'm going to search for Oscanta. Right. Now I've got a debate between Sea Dasher and Second Brineborn. I think I'll just go Second Brineborn. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to try and put on my fastest clock. No, no, that's a problem. Yeah. And turn. I'll see Dasher on to one of them, put it over, so that I can mess with their um, blast zone a little. Also, because I really need to start drawing cards. I do expect them to have Raisin Warfare or some other way to get creatures actually off of the field post board, but. Root Snare? No, by all means, go for it. It is annoying, though. Still all attack, just because I want to get through combat quicker. By all means, charge it up. Yeah, double blast zone. That's actually a problem. Spectral Sailor comes down the sunset. Any luck will actually draw land here, though. All right, there's blink of an eye. Hey, land. Wilderness Shrek. I really can't stop it, so. Let's see. Hmm. Alright, can't do anything about that. I just didn't draw lines in time. That and it doesn't actually do anything for them. It's basically just a uh, explore. Still powerful, but nothing to actually be worried about. They don't have a way to continue drawing cards yet. And I don't mind seven mana, untap all your lands trice, draw one card. As long as they don't have uh, a flip search for Esconta, an in-play Uro, um, or a Tamiya. Once they get a way to continue digging, then 
uh, extra turns become incredibly potent. Right now, if they don't have anything, then if I were them, I wouldn't have even made the play. All right, so I think they have another one. Okay. By all means, continue to Nexus. It doesn't much matter. Intervention can be a problem, mostly because it frees their Uro. Uh, it's not my turn, though. I wish it didn't say that. Could be confusing. If I were paying slightly less attention, I might have thought that uh, it was actually my turn and passed something that could have been rather problematic about. Uh, for my chances, I should say. Some debate. Do I want a slither wisp? Do I want to brazen bounce? I think I positively must brazen bounce now. I call that a victory. My opponent using a Thassa's intervention there to not draw cards is definitely something I'm into. That being able to find more cards to continue going off would be a much bigger problem for me than uh, anything an Uro can do. Tamiyo. All right. That one could actually be very scary. They're naming Nexus. Excellent. They have a fog in the bin for next. No, they don't. All right, I guess it got exiled. That missed next X one time. No, they did not. Or they're blowing it up. Yeah, they're finally blowing up their, uh, no? no? Root snare. Ugh. Okay. Should have expected it. Nice. No attacks, as there's no point, and just end the turn. Good draw in the gate there. Uh, Wreck is horrifyingly good. I can't really stop it. The amount of cards my opponent can't stop it because Tamiyo could buy it back. The amount of cards they can now see with their uh, field is very troubling. And I need to kill that Tamiyo now. Naming Nexus, no doubt. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen deep. They're finding something. Resolve all. 
8. There's an excess. Hopefully they don't find another. I do believe this will just be a loss, though. Rich snap. All right. They had a pseudo extra turn anyway. At least I can eat their Uro the next time it attacks. Although that doesn't really matter. Let's see, they're going to go 4, 5, 6, uh, sorry, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 21, 22, 23 cards deep. They get to see all but two cards of the library every turn for the rest of the game. Sorry, 24. They get to see their entire library every turn from now on. Uh, that's just a confession for me. They have infinite turns lined up. Uh, and now, I am totally not going to uh, salt shift over. Where is it? To our own Turbo Pog deck. So, root snares, opts, search for us, Kanta, negate. Basically, the deck we just played against. And Castle Vantress, some Temple of Mysteries, Blast Zones, Archer Verazka, because I'm greedy. Um, oh, yes, and sideboard of. Hey, the Gust, Augur of Bolas for red decks that were more popular at the time I was playing this, same as Cerulean Drake. Negate, Mystical Disputes for Blue, Narset, Biogenic Ooze for Anything Fair, and Shark Typhoons for Anything to Fairy. And here we go. Honestly, that one isn't a tilt shift, it's just that uh, I kind of like the fact and was reminded that the blue-green version exists when I've been playing the slightly less fun version for a while. I'm sure, it would be more fun if I, you know, opted to actually play less to fairies, but wanted to get a feel for exactly how good they were. And also a few free wins. <laughs> just having to fairies. Yeah, I'll mulligan that one. I suppose I'll keep... I don't need double Uro. Land to find any mana source. I just didn't think we could mull any lower and reasonably expect to survive. Uh, will this be a questing beast back, or...? Excellent. Hopefully they're not a questing beast variant. Or at least they didn't draw, draw it. I think they all have questing beast. Okay. Bone Crusher Giant. Oh, I don't want to draw it. And I'm glad they dropped their Bone Crusher, or I wouldn't have had a chance here. Alright, so this will be the make it or break it turn. Questing Beast straight up kills us. Pelt Collector is fine. Weird they drop they're dropping this pre-combat though. 
unless they have a uh, rule spell breaker. Hmm. I suppose they had something they wanted to discard then. Right, that makes sense now. I was thinking it would allow them to uh, deploy more post, but there we go. It's opt now that we know. Um, I don't think we can afford that right now. So bottom the forest. And we're going to basically want to mill whatever's on top, unless it's actively amazing. Saves us from a questing beast, but it's also a very bad draw. So we're going to play like they won't draw a questing beast. All right, here comes Wilderness Reclamation. Ah. Uh, and the questing beast that the brazen would have saved us from. Drawn right at the turn we would have otherwise stabilized. Moving on to game two. Against Gruul. Hey, the gusts come in. Cerulean Drake, uh, one copy at least. Hygienicus, while amazing, is a little slow, and that could be a problem here. Dang it. There we go. Goodbye, shark typhoons. Yes, both, I suppose. Goodbye, negates. And hello, second Cerulean Drake, because it blocks so much of their deck. And it can counter a stomp from a Bone Crusher that would otherwise prevent our fogs from working and end up losing us the game. We'll absolutely be on the play. And I'll keep this up. Lead on Breeding Pool into Island. Uh, growth Spiral. I think I'm going to cycle the Lonely Sandbar this time, or in this hand. Collector is fine. Burning Tree is a problem, but still fine. Just accelerates the Time we need to be reacting by. All right, growth spiral. Drop an island. Cycle a lovely. Excellent. Another wilderness wreck. Which isn't sarcasm. Actually, very glad I drew it. Forest. Drop. Come on. There we go. Drop a rack. And the turn. Next turn, we get to let's start with an off to see exactly what we draw. I think we don't get to keep a land right now. We're just more like than likely to draw into more of them anyway. And exactly what I was hoping to see is just drawn anyway. So they discard card, draw two. <clears throat> no, they don't draw two. That's very concerning for what might be in their hand. All right, let's drop a Tamiya. Hmm. What would I like to draw here? And would I rather just have 
another land drop this turn? I don't think so. So I think I'd want... I don't have a gate in the main. I still have a brazen borrower. Hmm. So I think I'll name... Brazen borrower. Because if I draw it, it beats the, uh, what's it called? So I didn't, obviously, um, but I was saying it would beat the questing beast. Which, of course, they have. It was the only thing I could think of. I'm not discard. And we lose. Can't. Damage dealt by creatures you control can't be prevented. Otherwise, we'd start chaining turns together. And so we lose another. <coughs> Alright, well, I'll stay true to my word. Uh, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please do remember to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And I will see all of you in the next video.